I, I do want to echo what uh, Jack just said about the families joining, and it's a very exciting uh, moment for all of us. And, and uh, uh, these two young people are uh, are a fantastic couple. So I'm, I'm very excited about what's going on here and, and the joining of our two families. So uh, I want to say that. Um, I learned something tonight that I, I think I want to mention because uh, uh, Mary's grandparents can't make it from uh, Madison and uh, I know that sends her and it sends her mother and, and I'm sad too that they can't make it. So uh, keep them in your prayers and uh, I guess I'd like to say a prayer with the, the meal as well. So you just hang your head with me and uh, dear Lord thank you for this uh, opportunity for all of us to, to share the meal and to be together as friends and, and relatives now. And uh, be with us tomorrow with uh, all the stuff that's going on and help us to uh, enjoy each other's company as we do tonight and uh, bless this food. And that's all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we'd like to say a few words and uh, thank some people. I'll kick it off. Um, we're going to start out with the parents. Well, first off, before we start out, we want to thank everybody for coming. We're so happy everyone made it to the league. And as you can see, we have a rather large wedding party here. So we have lots of speeches, and we will try not to bore you and keep them going. Um, keep eating. <laughs> please, and we have cake here in a little bit. Um, but we do want to start out with the parents. So we're going to start. I'm very privileged. I have two wonderful sets of parents I love very much. Um, and Mom and Papa John, we got you something to thank you so much for all the work that you've done with the wedding. You guys have done a tremendous amount. Um, and on top of it, just a few words. Um, Mom, I have to say this, and everyone would agree with me, especially the sisters. Uh, she is the best person to say exciting news to. So if I'm getting yeah. a bonus yeah. or anything, <laughs> she's the best person to tell. So when I called her when we got engaged, I literally went deaf. <laughs> oh, wow. I had to put my phone down. And like, oh my gosh. And then it really kept going. But um, <laughs> but no, I um, I love how excited you get. I love how supportive you are. And thank you very, very much for everything. Dad and Claudette, I mean, he's got a whole table of gifts here. Um, and it goes. We um, thank you so much for everything you've done. Um, some of the things I love. When I think about you guys, Drew Pursuit, I mentioned at the holidays. And uh, Dad, I have a quick story about you. Um, <laughs> like, Aaron's like, why are you telling stories? <laughs> like, I'm just saying it anyway. So when I was little, I did it. I had a horrible habit of biting my nails. Anyone that knows me you knows how he used to slap my hand on <laughs> um, And so he told me one week, you know, I'll give you $50 if you grow your nails up to the end of your fingertips. And so. I think I literally stopped the minute you said that, and in the back of my head, yes. it was $50, $50. <laughs> and I did it, and like a week and a half later, I showed him, he pulled through the bank, handed me my $50, um, and I think I did bite him off after. <laughs> but I will say that these are real nails, <laughs> and I'm pretty proud of them. Yay. stuff in here for you too. Um, this is my aunt and uncle. Uh, my aunt also was pretty much a parent during, growing up. So we would have sleepovers on the holidays, or not the holidays, like every day. <laughs> and she had a black lab, Bolzac, but it was obsessed with it. So uh, now we have our own Bolzac kind of anyway. But um, one of the traditions that they started is fondue every Christmas. And um, it means a lot to Aaron. It means a lot to me that Aaron has been welcomed into our fun do tradition. Yay! <laughs> and um, we always do gifts there. And I, I love two boys. We are missing Jack, but Connor and Dylan are over there. And Dylan, we're so happy that you're in the wedding. Um, it means a lot to us. Yeah. Cheers, man. And we can't wait to tomorrow. There's going to do such a good mom and dad. As Yay. Tomorrow. I think we have a huge round of applause for today. The awesome yeah. friend that they threw. Um, it was it was amazing. We had games, we had music, we had probably 100 people there in and out over five hours. So let's give it. Yay! And I just I feel like I'm so lucky because I love my my future in-laws and there's all these jokes about in-laws. Every time I think about it, I love them. <laughs> Yeah. And I think the main thing to highlight there is that 
have this home in Galena, and the fact that we chose to get married in yeah. Galena speaks a lot to you guys. All the memories that we've had there, everything, shows how much you guys mean to us. And we want to share, share our special weekend. Thank you. Yay. One of the things that he did for me um, was when I was graduating college and Nestle placed me out in New York. Yeah. Everyone's been there. You're broke. Yeah. You have no idea how you're going to get there. You have no. Katie supplied like all couches. <laughs> <laughs> I flew there with one suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> you flew there with one suitcase. So we've all been there at some point. Um, and I remember being like, how am I going to do this? And I remember having a conversation and him saying, let's do it. Let's pack it up. Let's go. And he literally packed the Explorer up, drove me from Minnesota to New Jersey, yeah. went to I We Those, what are they called? J tier, U tier, whatever, uh, New Jersey? Jug handle. Jug handle. Jug handle. Jug handle. Jug handle. The well. worst things ever. Yes. Yes. You get lost completely. But so we got lost the whole time. But we went to Ikea and we bought everything. And he literally had blisters all over his hands. He was up all night putting chairs, tables, kitchen, <laughs> kitchen stuff, living room stuff, bed, headboards you couldn't figure out. I'm like, I'm done. And he's like, we're going to finish this. <laughs> special how they get um, everyone together like the whole family comes um, for Christmases in Minneapolis or the Thanksgiving say they hold the Thanksgiving in a different location every year and it's for you know hosting us um, and, you know that was really great today and, and you know putting up with me and all my friends coming to your house yeah. partying and just <laughs> half the guys here have been there several years in a row so, but it's you know it's, it's, you know it's a great place to go and it brings everyone together so yeah. I'm really happy you guys so I really just want to hand the sister's bags out as quick as possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing that was going to break me down. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I really hard not to break down. But um, Kristen, you've been amazing my whole life. She, uh, Kristen, <laughs> um, been a role model to me. You, um, the biggest thing about you is I look up to you as a mentor. If you look at Kristen's life, uh, she was a lifeguard and swim instructor. She you know, started hair trend. She went to UW Madison. She was a business major. She worked in sales. She lived in New York. So I th think you're getting the trend. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've done. <laughs> so um, clearly that speaks um, tons of words about you and the decisions that you make and how, much, how many girls look up to you that are in this room right now. So as the oldest, you are strong, you're intelligent, you've lived within all these different countries, um, and you mean the world to me. So. Yay! <laughs> Lifeguard, swim instructor, UW Madison. I mean, definitely a trend here. No, that's um, but the one thing I always say about Kat is she always has so much on her plate and manages to do everything. I don't even know how. But on top of doing everything, she would always take a break from whatever she was doing to help me. So she would, I remember when she would have a paper or something and I'd call her and go, I'm going to fail. I just thought I was going to fail. <laughs> and they're like, oh, here goes Mary. And and so she'd come over, whether it was at Madison or whether it was at home in high school, and uh, she would stay up till like 
midnight, two in the morning, helping me with my paper, studying for my exam, quizzing me. I remember note cards quizzing me, and she, she would go through them, and then she would stay up like half the night doing her own stuff just because she was up helping me. So all those nights and all the things you've done for me, uh, I appreciate. I tell Aaron all the story, I talk about it. And um, especially for the wedding, both of you, all of you, have done so much. So the bachelorette, I mean, you could name everything. Tomorrow wouldn't be what it, what it is for you guys. So there's a lot of things going on. But for some reason, little, he and I love doing a lot of things together. But the best thing was when we would fish. I loved fishing, but I hated anything associated with touching worms or fish or anything. And she would do all of it. She would hook my worm. And she would take the fish off. And all I had to do was stand there with it and go, oh, I got a fish. <laughs> lot to me with Katie is as we've grown um, older we've gotten so much closer and I've gotten to spend almost every birthday with her this year was really hard because I couldn't go there with Nestle but Nestle always planned San Diego sales functions the week of her birthday so I'm there <laughs> taking her out for sushi the past like five years and it's the time that me and her get you know with sisters it's a little overwhelming everyone talks at once <laughs> nobody listens <laughs> <laughs> when I'm there with Katie uh, we actually you know when we had those the sushi nights it's time for you and me and we can actually catch up and learn but those times mean a lot to me Katie has done a tremendous amount on the wedding as well so as you see all the decor tomorrow um, she's ridiculously talented. She has her own business, um, which I'm sure I've showed all of you guys her website. <laughs> it's in our program, by the way, with a nice plug. <laughs> um, but she did the table decorations, the table numbers, I mean, everything in that room, the ground. That's her work. So thank you. Next. We have another sister, but you'll be a little bit to put in order of the stance. <laughs> um, Patty, oh, I don't even know what to start with you. So. <laughs> There's all these different shifts in your life where you're close to certain people, and although Patty's not a sister, I want to get through her really quickly too because the tears may come. <laughs> um, but Patty and I have been literally inseparable since we were like two, um, holding hands when we were like babies. I swear. So all the way through, and when we came became really close was at UW Madison. I came, um, and actually the funny thing about Patty is Aaron, Patty, and I used to hang out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we were not dating. It was a long time ago. We <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I never, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. I used to always be like, Patty, why don't you name Aaron? He's a perfect. Oh, he God. perfect. He's so cute. He's so smart. Like, what are you thinking? And she's like, oh, I'm crazy. Uh. <laughs> because you're like in love with him? And I'm like, oh, now we're friends. We are never going to date. We're friends. And she would always say, she would always say, you're going to marry each other someday. So that is the reason why I'm going to take it. <laughs> and she knew me all too well because she was right. Uh. <laughs> so I love you so much. And we were seven, and she said yes. And ever since then, we were so, so critical. We were, we worked together in the pool and doing all the things, but everyone thought we were triplets for about <laughs> five years. But the thing about Hope and being a friend, I remember in the fifth grade, she came to school. And you know, high school, people are kind of nervous, and they're you know, you, don't, you want to be cool and all this stuff, and Hope and Sean were actually dating. Hope brought this huge ice cream box, and it said, Happy 10th Anniversary. And it was in these letters, just like this. Hold on, there's Hope. And Hope, in about three weeks, is officially our 20th friendship anniversary. Yeah. Oh, so I want to repeat it. Thank you so much for being such a good friend. <laughs> the, uh, the third of the triplets, and I was in her class in her grade. I don't know what saying. I still Yeah, you can't be friends with her. She's my friend. Um, <laughs> literally, and then it's like, Katie was in my class every single third grade, fourth grade. And when you're little, it's a big deal who's in your class. So it's every year, just so Katie, I think, in like fifth grade. She's like, all right, you know, I'm just kidding. Um, and I met this guy who was cool all day, and we did everything together. And um, I love her. I visited her for you, and she's a superstar over there. Karen and I really enjoy visiting her and her husband and all together for this guy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> My college ladies over here. Um, a lot of you have heard the story, but I have to say it about Katie. So when I was, um, you get your ran I decided to have random roommate in college. Um, and a lot of people have horror stories. You can ask Kat about hers later. It is an absolute <laughs> horror story about person that I've wanted to be like, uh, and so I was a little bit nervous after that experience, 
Um, but 10 years ago, I got my random roommate, and her name was Katie Linderman, and I didn't know anything about her. Um, and I remember a few weeks into it being like, I'm the luckiest person in the world. In the world. We were inseparable in college, we went out, we lived with each other all throughout college, and she has grown up with Aaron since they were in kindergarten. So she is the reason why we're all here today. She introduced us, so I struck gold with my random roommate. I found my husband, my future husband, and I found a best friend. And one of the, my favorite things about Katie and Scott were newlyweds. Um, they just got married two weeks ago in Kansas. Yay! Um, we love, uh, we love, we love they, we just took a vacation with them. They're in Chicago with us. We feel so lucky that we are so close to you guys and we can hang out with you guys. And uh, thank you so much for being along. Jackie's at the UW. We met uh, 10 years ago in the uh, not in the dorms, but in the Calvin's class. And this is <laughs> really but Chris took me to take Calculus 222, which was like a West crazy calculus class with like twice as many credits. I don't know why I did it. Most college students, <laughs> most college students are not there to have like extra calculus. But um, anyway, I met Jackie in class. We started out with study buddies, study buddies, total dorky, but, um, to, which is really dorky, but we actually became really good friends. We were both business majors. We took all our classes. We lived with each other in college. Um, we visited each other. She, <laughs> people at me. <laughs> um, but, and now we live in Chicago, a mile apart. And um, Jackie, the thing I have to say about Jackie is um, she is like there for you. I could call her at 2 in the morning, and she would literally be at my door before she's picked up the phone. So one of the other things is we send out any email we send out with the wedding. It would be like, 10 things, can anybody help, please? And she would sign like every single one. Jackie, 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 Jackie. It's amazing. It's super sorry. You've been a huge help in the wedding. Thank you so much. I love you. OK, so shift over to my family as of tomorrow. Um, it meant a lot for me to have my future family in the wedding. And these girls have been absolutely amazing. Helping the minute I first met them, Katie and our, we did golf lessons together. We did like, we shop all the time together, we did yoga together. Um, and I remember Lauren first telling you that Aaron and I were engaged and you screaming and you made face with us. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping this would happen. The energy that she had was absolutely uh, awesome. So I love you girls. You've been amazing in your wedding. I can't wait for the future holidays. We are already spending together, but more holidays to come. And thank you so much for being here. Yay. Okay. Um, so have a few words about this very, very special girl, my little sister. Um, I have obviously known her her whole life, and we spent a lot of time growing up in Minnesota and the holidays. Uh, but the neat thing about Grace is she spent the last two summers visiting Erin and I, and we put her in camp, and she's been a part of our relationship, which is really neat. And um, I remember when I was dropping her off at camp a couple of summers ago, or I was picking her up her last day. and. There was like 25 kids swarming her, asking her for her number, asking for her email. You know, there was a boy kind of hanging out. We were trying to shoot. You guys are gonna kill me. You know, and they, they, they managed to get the number, but we made sure it's a house line so you could filter. Um, but she's one of those girls that everybody just loves and falls in love with. Her personality is amazing. She's funny. She's fun. She's just kind of the life of the party when you come. So, and she's also responsible for all the names. In Chicago, yeah. she cut out all the names and helped with all the goodie bags. And she wanted to do her bridesmaids' duty, so she did it. She was up really late one night. So thank you so much. Oh, for right. uh, <laughs> 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 okay. yeah. I'd like to thank all the girls, man. Um, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 